Tropical Rainforest. Imagine, we are travelers in time. It's now 400 million years ago. Some of the most primitive of plants, the ferns, cover almost all the land. And now, a hundred million years have passed. The dominance of ferns is ending. And the trees with different leaves, with trunks and spreading branches, are beginning to appear. We have burst upon a new fantastic era. Tropical rainforests have begun. Imagine now it's 60 million years ago. The dinosaurs have come and gone. The insects who were here before still thrive. The forest is a tangled weave of plants competing for the nutrients and light. Multitudes of life forms are emerging. Static life, the fungi, plants and trees support a mobile world. The insects and the rest who move about in search of food. Every morning, moist and sun-warmed air starts rising, prelude to the midday clouds. And every afternoon, the rain descends as tropical rainforests round the planet live up to their hot and humid name. Every day since time on Earth began, the sun has traced a beam of energy and heat, a band around the Earth's equator. And so, the daily dose of sun and water keeps the tropic landscape nourished, slowly shaping, changing every form of life. And still there's 50 million years or more to go before the early humans come.
now to taste the air. The forest creatures of the night are just as varied and as numerous as those of day. At dawn, the twelve hours night becomes another twelve of day. There are no seasons, only light and darkness, rain and sunshine, week by week and month on month, from year to hundred millionth year. Within the cycle grows the largest single living thing the land has ever seen, the tree, the very fabric of the forest. Many times the size of dinosaurs that trampled around their roots so long ago. The trees are part of the variety of many thousand different flowering plants. But why so many shapes and colors? How did they arrive at such complexity?